Honorable Speaker, on the onset, I rise to support uh, this bill, and for the following reasons. Honorable Speaker, this side of the House has a government to run. Government is about running schools, building roads, hospitals, and all those services that is for the well-being of uh, the Kenyan citizen. Honorable Speaker, when the other side says we don't want to pay taxes, I want to say as follows. Every week, I drive for eight hours to Marsabet on a first-class tarmac road that was paid for by the Kenyan taxpayer. Our population is small. Had we been told, pay for that road, we as the people of Marsabet or Isiolo, we could not have afforded to pay for that. For that reason, there are many things that we must have in mind. Taxation is about generation. That one generation must bequeath something to the following generation. Have the choice. Either we bequeath them burden and poverty or prosperity and equity. And in this particular case, I believe Kenya Kwanza government has said, let us bequeath equity and prosperity to the people of Kenya and for the following generation. Honorable Speaker, taxation comes with many things. One of it is burden. Everybody must dig into their pockets. But you have to make a choice. Do you want tomorrow to be much harder than today or to make it harder today so that tomorrow you will have a better life? Among those things which we as legislators must go through, just visit Kenyatta National Hospital where the very poor or deprived of our people visit that hospital, where they hardly get medicine, they hardly get good services of doctors, and our people are hardly able to pay their bills. But the doctors there and the staff that is in Kenyatta National Hospital, I think they are doing a mag magnificent job. But the question is, if we cannot pay for that facility, then what will happen to the majority of Kenyans who, like you and me, do not have that insurance cover to enjoy the best of facilities in this country? Honorable Speaker, the elephant in the room, why there is a lot of haranguing and complaints from the other side is because the Kenya Kwanzaa government is saying, let us grow the tax bracket. Let us grow the economy. Because we have been selectively taxing the few who earn salaries and the few big companies. Today we are saying, let everybody who is within reach of taxation pay their tax. And I think that is the dis discomfort that we are experiencing. Honorable Speaker, this particular committee have done a good job. What they have done is they have tried to balance between tax exemption uh, areas and taxation areas. Finally, it is on the housing levy. Honorable Osoro said, in Kisi there is not enough land. In Marsabet, we have enough land. Sometimes we think what to do with that land. For that reason, if there's a constituency where the government is ready to build the 290 houses, I think they can come to Marsabet, and that land is available. Finally, the issue of housing levy, it is a saving, not a taxation. Kenya is considered to be one of the countries where people... Your time is up.